Hello, my name is Ian Richards, and this is my Pocket City project. And we'll jump right in with the major components of my Pocket City uh, city, which you can see now, hopefully. And the first major area we're going to cover is the first major commercial district. Um, this one has a ton of shops, and it's also the location of two of the city's banks. And then we'll move on to the industrial district right above it. I wanted this to be somewhat separate from everything else. That's why all of the industry is here, and that's pretty much the only place there's any industrial buildings. That actually is the only place there's any industrial buildings. Uh, moving on, we have a larger commercial center here. Notably, this one has a uh, theater, art gallery, and the uh, city's uh, tower. And right on the major highway is a hospital, and that hospital is located uh, directly above the major residential area of the city, which are these uh, streets right here. And they have a police station, fire department, and power plant right next to them. And then over here, we have beaches and an aquarium for them. And right across the river, we have a smaller commercial and residential beach town. This was actually inspired by real towns uh, I've actually encountered throughout my life. Um, and then a, another smaller neighborhood here. And then over here, we have a small residential area and the uh, commercial area again with, a, or it's more of an export area because these are the farms and a shipping port, which is right here. And then we have the final commercial uh, slash uh, beach area. This is again supposed to be like a uh, sort of like beach strip where, you know, there's a ton of shops and restaurants here, and then you can go out on the beach. And the governance model is going to be uh, capitalism, although I'm not sure I would necessarily call it strictly free market. There is a significant amount of regulation. For example, where certain businesses are located is regulated. If you're running any sort of industry, you have to be up in that top left corner. If you're running any sort of commercial buildings, you have to be in one of the commercial districts because I don't know, I don't want someone to have a giant like mall next to their house. And it's also regulated on certain things like you know wages are protected and there's minimum wage and yeah citizens have a pretty good mix of work and life balance i hope i've provided them multiple areas to relax they have plenty of beaches and like I mentioned earlier, the aquariums, art galleries, and theaters. They also all have a home to reside in. I made sure of that. And the city is definitely what I would call my version of utopia. However, I wanted to keep it realistic because even though I, I, I know that fundamentally the concept of utopia isn't realistic, but this, I believe, is something close to a reasonable city. Now, obviously, I'm not an urban planner. I don't know how this would actually work in real life. Um, but on the actual rules of my city, uh, it follows more of a modern morality. And I say that because in Thomas More's Utopia, there are things like slavery, which I would not obviously allow in my city. And on the point of it being practical, I believe that the city that Walt Disney planned was frankly completely impractical and that's why it was never built fully and canceled the immediately after he died because you know it's it's good to have those dreams of utopia but I believe you can have sort of a functional utopia and that's what I aim to do and on the note about the article question uh, I believe that the article was trying to say that, you know, trying to over-design a city might lead it to being sort of like a technical nightmare with all sorts of hidden things and 
having a sprawling metropolis that's prevented presented by something like uh, these games uh, might not work in real life. Uh, although I don't believe Pocket City is the best example for that, honestly. It's pretty limited. Um, the limitations of the game are severe. Uh, buildings only face one way, so it really does Im limits your design. That's why the residential areas have their houses facing one way for the most part. And it's not really friendly for giant metropolises. However, games like SimCity definitely are. And I do believe that my city could reasonably exist in real life.